Hi everyone, this is Vivek Dwedi from NICER and in this video I am going to tell you how to prepare for ICER aptitude test in just about one month which is remaining or less than that time. Now there is a very important strategy I am going to discuss in this video and that strategy is basically because you have very less amount of time. I know a lot of you will be very stressed, a lot of you have not covered your syllabus, a lot of you have a lot of backlogs and also you are very stressed as the exam approaches being a student, I myself am a student here and I am also having a lot of health issues, I am having many problems going on in my life, still I am here making this video. So please uh, like this video and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Apart from that, coming to the point that I am making this video because a lot of people are messaging me constantly that they are totally stressed out, they don't know what to do, how to even start preparing in such a stage when you have a lot of unfinished syllabus, you have a lot of backlogs you don't know what to revise how to revise where to start so basically you have no idea at all and even if you have some idea and you're already doing your preparation this video is definitely going to help you as well As I said, I am not well, still I am making this video, so please subscribe to the channel. A lot of students right now, I know in my courses that if they are able to find that mental balance properly, if you are not always so much overwhelmed, if you are not always stressed, then you can prepare better. I know some people, uh, me and my friend discussed that, you know, if this person is able to just uh, focus a bit properly, if he is uh, able to reduce the stress, then that person can definitely qualify the next exam because of his preparation level and all. But even if you have prepared a lot, but if you are mentally not well, if you are physically not well, you are not going to be able to qualify the exam. So please make sure your mental and physical health, both of these are proper. How to do that? Try to do some exercise, 5 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just whatever time you can give, please do some exercise that will give some good hormones that will release some good neurotransmitters to you. It, you, it will make you feel good. Okay. Given all of this uh, aside, because health is the most important thing. Now coming to the strategy, what you should do. So first of all, you should focus on question to theory approach. As I have always been saying, you need to practice more and more questions, as many questions as possible. Okay. Now, how to do that? You will say, Bhaiya, I have not read the chapter. How can I practice the question? I have not even finished that part of the syllabus. How can I practice the question? The answer is that you don't need to finish all the syllabus. Okay. First of all, I have already made detailed videos on important chapters in physics, chemistry, maths and bio. And a lot of questions were repeated in the actual exam okay from those topics i am telling you and only refer to most important topics in chapter so let me tell you again okay very clearly you don't need to cover everything about the syllabus you do not have time for everything where you should focus on where the most important topics and chapters are what are the most important and most probable things that are going to come Right. So, for example, I know in chemistry, coordination compound has very high chances of coming. It's very less chance that people will not ask question from there. Let's say organic chemistry, aldehydes, ketone, very less chance that a question will not be there. Like almost these are guaranteed kind of topics. Okay. These are almost guaranteed that they are definitely going to come. Like, agar wahan se question nahi puchoge, to kahan se puch rahe ho tum? Concept kahan hai? Right. So that's why I'm telling you, please focus on those important topics and chapter. Don't worry about all the labels, whether you have covered or not. I have given those chapter in priority order. Okay, it's all in priority order that this is most important, then this is most important and like this. So follow those four videos, focus on the small part of your syllabus. Now your syllabus was very big, right? It was 11th, 12th, a lot of things. Now it has been reduced. It has been reduced to very small amount in which you need to focus only on this much important part. Even in this now, you revise these topics and chapters and focus on practicing as many previous year papers you can. Previous year papers first and then mock test. After you have finished all the previous year papers, practice the mock test. All the previous year papers, a lot of free mock tests you can get in my app Siesta for free. I have given all the previous year papers for free till 2021. Okay, a lot of people cannot get 2021 IAT paper in internet, but still I have arranged and I have put the paper there. Okay, so in the app, you will get everything for free. Also, you will get a lot of things. 
so just go there practice all the previous year papers you can and then practice the mock test and then you will see a pattern that what Vivek Bhaiya is saying is actually correct. A lot of these particular topics are asked again and again and you need to focus there. Practice questions from there. This is what is called question to theory approach. Now, you're practicing the questions, previous year papers. You see that you're not able to do question. Now, the thing is that a lot of you will not be able to do the question. Why? Because you have not read that subject properly. You have not read that topic properly. You have not covered the syllabus of that part, right? Now, the thing is, you have not, you're not able to do that topic means go and study that topic. Instead of first reading from chapter one to chapter 10, better you just practice the question and see what is the important topic there, then go and read. What is the important topic? Next question you were not able to do, no problem. Go and read the th theory for that question. Then third question you were not able to do. So let's say 60 out of 60 question, like 15 for each subject, totally have 60 questions, right? In eyes aptitude test. Now, so let's say 60 out of 60 questions you were not able to do in the previous year paper of I eyes aptitude test. What your aim is question one, go and read the theory, practice it. Come to question number two, you were not able to do, go and read. So I'm telling you, it is totally fine if you're not able to do 60 out of 60 questions at all. It's totally fine. Just see the question, go to the topic and theory and practice it. Question two, go there. Like this, even if you learn just 10 concepts, just 10 concepts in each of the previous year paper. In four previous year papers, you can learn 40 concepts and all of those are important concepts which have high chances of coming in new upcoming exam 2022, right? So please follow that. That is the second thing. Third thing to all the non-bio students. I know a lot, lot of non-bio students think that how will I read biology? How will I prepare for biology? I have not studied biology for about two years now. Now, the thing is that it will be a big mistake. I request you, please don't leave bio at all. Even if you just see my important chapters video, even if you just give one reading to the chapter, okay, just few times you uh, read and you will be really good in those chapters. And by one reading also, you can do a lot of questions. I know mathematics students last year, AIR one, he, he is now in CMIH and nine mathematical institutes and he used to love mathematics and not really like biology, but still he, always attempted biology because bio is so easy like bio is the easiest section till now in all the eyes aptitude test previous year papers so please don't make mistake that you cannot do biology and anyway the more questions you do the more sections you attempt in iit the more marks you're going to get now for non-math student you might be having some issues right so either you can just leave the mathematics section which is less recommended because obviously if a person with all four subjects physics chemistry maths and bio will be able to attempt more question and he will get better marks and better rank right so what i would suggest is go and see the important easy questions i have already made the video last year right see the easy chapters i have told you for non math students just go and read those chapters and find out from there there will be always some easy question a lot of always easy questions will be there in the paper okay a paper cannot 100 percent become tough or cannot become 100 percent easy there will be some easy question some moderate question and some tough questions your aim is just to see those easy questions easy topics i have already told you and just attempt them so these were the three important strategies i have told you keeping in mind that your mental and physical health is all good okay so that was it in this video if you have any other problem please message me in the comments below or you can message me directly in the app siestra i'll reply to all of you i have been replying to everyone who is messaging me okay so all the best take care see you in isers bye